Hello there, my name is Cody Littleton and I'm a service technician here at Seabird Scientific. Today I'll be showing you how to calibrate the pH sensor on the Hydrocat EP V2. This procedure we're about to go over also applies to the Hydrocat EP V1. The materials that we will need are the following. Hydrocat EP V2, the pH sensor you are calibrating, a 532nd Allen key, the syringe kit, a spare piece of tubing, a bottle of DI water, colorless buffer solutions of 4, 7, and 10, gloves, and safety goggles, as well as a basin to catch the effluent. Be sure to use colorless pH buffer solutions for this process to avoid staining the reference electrode junction, and also wear the appropriate PPE, gloves, and safety goggles. You will also need a computer running the UCI software. It is best to do this process with your buffer solutions at room temperature. Now we are starting with our pH sensor already installed in our Hydrocat EP. For instructions on how to install, remove, and store your pH sensor, please refer to the instructions in our other video. If your instrument has been recently deployed, please refer to the cleaning instructions in our other video as well. Now, Please don your safety equipment and connect your Hydrocat EP to UCI. Within UCI, start by clicking on the pH calibration button. The on-screen menu will guide you through the process with each pH buffer. Next, remove the anti fallant guard to access the instrument's flow path and attach your length of tubing to the exhaust port. This is on the same side as the pH sensor. I recommend putting your Hydrocat EP in a basin in order to catch any fluids which may fall out during the calibration process. Begin by filling your syringe with DI water. Next, attach your syringe, your syringe tubing into the intake of the Hydrocat EP and flush the plumbing with DI water. This will clear any residue out from the plumbing in order to make your calibration more clear. Empty your DI water into a basin. Next, fill your syringe with pH buffer 4 solution. Flush your Hydrocat's plumbing with the pH4 buffer and empty it into a basin. Once you have flushed the plumbing with buffer 4, refill your syringe with pH buffer 4 solution. Next, to make sure that your Plumbing is completely saturated with pH4 buffer solution. Press the plunger down and shake your Hydrocat in order to get all the bubbles out of the plumbing. These bubbles will influence your pH calibration, so be sure to get all of them out. You can also run the pump in order to clear these bubbles, but shaking should do it. Once the on-screen window has finished with the pH4 calibration step, empty your pH4 solution into the basin. Then fill your syringe with DI water to flush the plumbing of pH4 solution. Once the plumbing has been flushed with DI water, fill your syringe with pH 7 solution and rinse the plumbing with pH 7. Next, refill the plumbing with pH 7. And again, shake your Hydrocat in order to rid yourself of bubbles. Oh. 
and click Next in UCI. Hit Start to begin the pH calibration step for pH buffer 7. After the completion of step 3 with pH buffer 7, move on to step 4 and repeat this process with pH 10 buffer solution. Once you have finished with this procedure, UCI will automatically update the calibration coefficients on your instrument. UCI will also give you a PDF pH calibration report telling you whether your pH sensor has passed or failed its calibration and give you the new coefficients loaded.